It's Collider News, and we have an exclusive report from Jeff Snyder, who's sitting next to me, James Franco, in negotiations to direct an ESPN movie. We're breaking it down right here. Joined at the desk, Jeff Snyder, I'm Mark Riley. This exclusive, James Franco is back. He is in negotiations to direct those guys have all the fun inside the world of ESPN. Based on the book that's right here, Jeff Snyder, break down this news, please. And yeah, Mark, I don't know if you've ever read this book. It's terrific. Roke, yeah. Roke is a big fan as well. Basically, th th this book is an oral history of the formation of ESPN. Yeah. It was basically started by this guy, uh, Bill Rasmussen, who was a communications executive. He teamed up with his son to launch the, the world's first 24-hour cable TV network. Right. Um, and, and it obviously took a lot of money. So uh, Franco, you know, who, who suffered some backlash of, uh, from the Me Too movement and whatnot. He was uh, accused of sexual misconduct, I suppose you could say. Yeah. Um, you know, he's, he's coming off The Disaster Artist, which I really thought was one of the top 15 movies of last year. Yeah, I agree. I and, loved it. And so he's in negotiations to direct this film for Focus Features. I think it indicates that the industry is ready to, to welcome back James with open arms, not that he ever went away. Um, you know, like HBO this morning uh, came out, uh, Casey Bloys came out and said at TCA that he's still, you know, everyone at, at HBO felt completely comfortable moving forward with the second season of James' show, The Deuce. Okay. So, you know, I, I, this may haunt him in terms of some certain audience members yes. not wanting to support his projects or whatever, but I think that this book uh, is a natural evolution for him as a filmmaker. Okay, yes. Uh, the, the Disaster Artist was one of my favorite movies of last year. Um, I, to, to talk about the Me Too movement, is there going to be some backlash from this? Uh, do you believe that this movie might get held up in any way? But it, I mean, based on your reporting, however, and what you just said, it looks like they're willing to forgive. It looks like they're moving forward. But uh, I'm I mean, I get think your that take. I think that uh, a backlash is inevitable. Yes. Uh, for something like this, and and again, keep in mind, you know, while he's not involved with the project anymore, and, and so some sources said he was never involved with the project to begin with. The initial announcements regarding this movie had Kevin Spacey as a producer as well. Wow. Uh, okay. So 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 he's no longer involved, and, and obviously Spacey and Franco would really make this project kind of toxic. It has been in the works at both Fox and Focus, I think since like 2011 when the book came out. So it has already taken five or six or seven years in this sort of development hell uh, trying to get off the ground because it is a tricky book to adapt. Yeah. How it, do you do it? Yeah, it sure looks like it. So, um, so like basically like, what I'm saying is like if this movie doesn't happen any time soon, it may not necessarily be because James Franco is directing it. It may just be because it's a tough nut to crack. Right. But I think, you know, the, the uh, Focus has hired uh, Christopher C. Rogers, who co-created yeah. Halt and Catch Fire, to, re to rewrite the script that was originally written by uh, by Jim Miller, who is the yeah. author of the book, who knows the subject better than anybody. Um, and it has a really strong producing team here. Michael DeLuca, Jamie Patrickoff, and Julie Yorn are all kind of powerhouse producers. So the fact that Focus has those three sort of supporting Franco, I, I think it would seem to indicate... Uh, a plan to actually move forward with this. It sure looks that way, and especially when you're getting a new writer, as you mentioned, right. to rewrite the script, uh, which means they are still cracking the script for sure. But when James Franco comes in for negotiations, it must mean they're confident, they are moving forward. There's the news. Uh, hell of a scoop uh, from you. Do you know of any other potential players that might be involved in this moving forward? Or I think they're just starting to reach out to cast. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure what they have in mind for something like this. My idea, which I wrote on, on Collider, is I, I would love to see essentially actors de depict the formation of ESPN mm -hmm. and from, from the ground up interspersed with interviews from the people who are actually there, the anchors, the athletes, that kind of thing. Uh, sort of similar to how American Animals presented its heist story right, where it right. had actors playing these kids but also the real you know kids grown up themselves talking about it I, I think in my head and I don't know if this is Focus's plan th this is what I imagine Bennett um, Steve, sorry Steven Soderbergh's Moneyball mm. might have been had that version been made and not Bennett Miller's version oh got it yeah uh, Moneyball came to mind of course because of the sports angle but uh, it's interesting this book is, is thick it's, it's huge I'm full reading of great stories it's full of great stories some of the backstory some of the, the, the formation of ESPN is fascinating and just in the little I'm reading now. Right. So this could be um, an Oscar contender. It'll be like the, it right. could be like the social network. I mean, sure. you never know. Exactly. I, but uh, I, I think Franco, you know, he started out, we started out kind of joking about James Franco as a director, right? He yeah. directed a lot of kind of schlock or crap. 
Yeah. Um, but the, the, disaster, the disaster artist was a real step up for him, and I think this is yet another step up for him. It's a great story, and uh, yeah, I, I hope that he does justice in telling it. Um, you know, he was also in the news this morning, not just for the the comment at HBO at TCA's, but because he's in the Coen Brothers' new project, the bus, uh, the Battle of Buster Scruggs, that's which right. was going to be an anthology series. We thought that's what it was going to be on Netflix. Turns out, it's uh, they have re-edited it or something like that into a movie yes. that will debut at the Venice Film Festival. So a lot going on with Franco today. Yeah. Um, and uh, news. yeah, that's, there, that's, that's that. There it is. James Franco is making news and he is in negotiations to direct a new movie. What do you guys think about this news? Is it good for you? Are you uh, excited for James Franco uh, essentially making a return to directing at the very least? Or do you think the Me Too movement and the allegations against him are going to harm this project from moving forward? Let's hear those comments. Drop them in below. Like and share this video. And remember, subscribe to Collider Video for more exclusive news just like this. <laughs>